it was day 35 of our Snapchat streak and I could not believe that I was Snapchatting this hot girl. I couldn't believe that she kept responding to me day after day. It was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting closer and closer to being able to hang out with her. We had been Snapchatting back and forth for 35 days and I got to see her face every single day. She likes me, I, I can just feel it. I know that there's a slim chance that I can hang out with her and get with her and everything will work out in the end. This is the delusion of most men. And this was me, literally. I was Snapchatting this girl for 35 days in a row. Guess how many times we met in person? Zero, none, no times. But she kept responding to my Snapchats. So the little beta simp pussy boy that I was figured, hmm, there must be a chance. She must actually kind of like me. She didn't like me. She didn't like me. She was just stringing me along, using me for attention. If you're in this type of relationship with a girl where all you do is Snapchat her or all you do is text her, and she gives you a little bit at a time where she responds maybe a few minutes later or a few hours later or whatever it may be where she, you know, she responds, but nothing ever comes of it. Maybe you even try to ask her to hang out. Me personally, with that girl that I was snapping 35 days in a row, I didn't. I was waiting for her to ask me because I was such a bitch. But maybe you had the balls to say, hey, do you want to hang out with me? And if she says something like, oh, I'm actually really busy but maybe another time, if she keeps saying that and keeps trying to reschedule, 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 or just like trying to let you down easy. I'm here to tell you, my brother, she does not like you. She likes your attention. Because guess what? She has multiple dudes just like you that are Snapchatting her day in and day out, messaging her day in and day out, and the dude that she is hanging out with is not. He is not sitting there taking these cringe ass selfies day after day, hoping to get an inch and an, a centimeter, a crumb of her affection I'm telling you I've been this guy and you know the other horrible thing about this too is I've been the guy where I've gotten friend zoned and instead of cutting off contact completely I keep snapchatting her and messaging her after she broke up with me she doesn't like you it's a harsh truth you got to grow up bro you got to realize she does not like you by you snapchatting her day in and day out it's not doing anything she's only losing more and more respect for you because the guy that she is having sex with the guy who is getting intimate with her is not snapchatting her every day he's not because he doesn't care so much he's not so needy for her he just doesn't give a fuck so she finds him way more attractive the guy she is actually with is not snapchatting her I've said this in other videos before, but if you are like out of high school and you're still using Snapchat to try to get girls, what are you doing? It's time to play a different game, my friend. That is never going to work for you. It is so cringe sending a goofy ass picture of yourself, a goofy ass selfie to a girl when you are freaking 18 or older, when you're an adult. It's time to act like one, it's time to grow up. It's time to play the game differently. All right, get her number, message her. But anyway, I don't know who needs to hear this, but Younger me did, because younger me kept getting strung along and strung along by so many of these girls where I thought that if I just message her every single day and keep Snapchatting her and get all these Snapchat streaks, like I had multiple Snapchat streaks with girls who were way out of my league, and I thought, hmm, maybe there is a chance. But no, she just wanted my attention. She has multiple dudes that she Snapchats daily. You don't want to be that dude. If you're one of these dudes that she is Snapchatting daily and you don't even actually exchange any words with her. Maybe you do a little bit, but if you've asked her to hang out and she says no, or she says, or she's trying to let you down easy and says, ah, I'm busy. You're one of those dudes. You're just like the other 10 dudes that are freaking fighting for her attention. Remember the guy who's not fighting for her attention is the guy she actually wants. You may not agree with me. You may be like, well, Matt, I swear there's a little part of me that knows that she likes me. I'm telling you, it's not real. All right. Stop listening to that side of your brain. She does not actually like you. She's using you for your attention. Let me tell you a little truth here. A girl that actually likes you will make it so freaking obvious. If you ask her to hang out, it's like, yes, of course, let's do it. It's, there's no friction at all. Maybe, okay, the girl really is busy, that's fine. But if you ask a second time and she pulls the same bullshit, she doesn't like you, she's just using you for attention. The girl that really is into you will make it obvious. You will not have to Snapchat her for 35 days in a row for her to finally like you. All right, if she really likes you, you will text her one time and say, let's hang out. And she will say, yeah, let's do it. All right, you don't need to play this back and forth game. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your life doing that. You're acting like a simp. 
to put it bluntly. I can't believe the amount of times I would keep messaging girls when they just didn't like me. It was so obvious, but the little voice inside my head that said, but there's a little tiny bit of hope. There's a little chance. Maybe she'll like you. Even if there is, even if there's that little tiny chance, that relationship will never work out. Why? Because you're trying to win her over. She needs to be the one that's going after you. She wants to try to lock you down. By you having to try to lock her down, it is the wrong freaking energy. And that relationship will not last. I guarantee it. Because I've been that guy who tries to win a girl over and chases her and keeps pursuing and pursuing and pursuing. And eventually she agrees to go on a date with me. I've been that guy. It never freaking works. You need to be the guy who is not in her Snapchat inbox and not messaging her constantly because you just, quite frankly, don't give a shit. You are too focused on your life. And the fact that you are too focused on your life makes you way more attractive. It makes it so now she really wants to lock you down. She's like, damn, that guy has something going for him. He is different. He is not like every other Johnny and Billy and Timmy that are in my inbox. So now she chases you and you didn't even have to send her one freaking Snapchat. Your Snapchat streak with her was zero. But Johnny, Billy and Timmy, they're maybe in the hundreds by this point because they just still don't learn. They never freaking get it. They're playing the wrong game and chances are if you're still watching this video, you are too. And I hope this message resonated with you and I hope you can now give yourself some self-respect and realize that that game will never work. They're just stringing you along for attention. The girl that actually likes you will make it so obvious. It's not gonna be some game where you have to think, hmm, does she like me? Maybe there's a slim chance. No, you want there to be a freaking fat chance because it's so damn obvious. If you wanna know how to position yourself as that man who can be so attracted to girls and not have to worry about whether there's this little tiny chance that she likes you, then go click the first link in the description and come join our private brotherhood. Get access to exclusive content where I teach you how to be more attractive, how to get girls essentially, and build your dream body and also master your sexual energy. Go click the link in the description right now. Like the video if you want, comment if you want, and subscribe if you are new. I will see you in the next video. Peace.